In this video, I am going to talk about the transmission of nerve impulse across a chemical synapse. So let us first see the structure. Synapse is a junction between two neurons. So there is a gap present between two neurons through which the impulse is transmitted and that junction where the axon and the dendrite of two neurons meet for movement of a nerve impulse is called as a synapse. So here we can see the axon terminal. The axon terminal has a swollen part that is called as a synaptic bulb which contains synaptic vesicles. So here this is the axon terminal of the presynaptic neuron. So the space is called as the synaptic cleft. The neuron before the space is called as presynaptic neuron. The swollen part is called as the synaptic bulb. At the junction of the axon and the synaptic bulb is the calcium channels. These calcium channels open as the nerve impulse arrives and allow the calcium ions to enter inside. These calcium ions then go and bind to the synaptic vesicles. The synaptic vesicles here contain the neurotransmitters. Now there are certain mitochondria also present which provide energy during this process. So the calcium ions which bind to the synaptic vesicles, the synaptic vesicle then fuses with the presynaptic membrane. Now as it fuses, it allows the neurotransmitters to be released into the cleft via exocytosis. So here we can see the gap is the synaptic cleft and in that the dots that can be seen here are the neurotransmitters. Now on the post synaptic membrane is present the sodium channels. These sodium channels are ligand gated that means it has a receptor binding part on which the neurotransmitters bind. Now as soon as the neurotransmitters bind to these sodium channels, the sodium channels open allowing the sodium to enter inside. So once the sodium enters the dendrite of the postsynaptic neuron, the polarity of the neuron here, the second neuron changes. If it reaches the threshold, then the nerve impulse is conducted to the next neuron. 